Okay, so again, this is a quadratic equation. You have three terms. The highest power on x is a 2. It's a quadratic equation. Um, in this case, a equals 2. a is always the coefficient on the x squared term. b is 3. b is always the coefficient on the x term. c is negative 6. It's always the constant term. So what we have to do is take this a, b, and the c, plug it into the quadratic formula, and that will give us our solution for x. So x equals, I'll remind you what the quadratic formula is, negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now if I was a good teacher, I'd sing you a, uh, a little Pop Goes the Weasel song for how to remember this uh, quadratic uh, formula, but I'm not a good teacher, so let's just move on. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to take this a, b, and c, and we're going to substitute those in to our quadratic formula. That's going to allow us to solve for x. <coughs> okay, so everywhere you see a b, you're going to plug in a 3. You see an a, you plug in a 2. You see, an a, see a c, you plug in a negative 6. Okay, we have negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now we just have to simplify. Three squared is nine. Minus four times two is eight. Eight times negative six is negative 48. So we have nine minus negative 48. 2 times 2 is 4, so uh, that's the first step of the simplification. The next step is going to give us our answer. 9 minus a negative 48, I think, is 57. Divide that by 4, and we have two answers. The answers are x equals negative 3 plus the square root of 57 over 4, and x equals negative 3 minus the square root of 57 over 4. Those are the two x values. Plug them into your calculator. Find a decimal for them if you want. Uh, those are the two x values that you can plug in to this quadratic equation. Uh, and that equation will be satisfied. So great. That's it. Um, for more examples, go to 090.pdf. Download that file and take a look at it, um, and uh, I'll see you, see you later. Good luck on your AccuPlacer test.